wish that I could have welcomed you in each of your own languages, but that task was just too daunting for me, since I realize you come from 39 different countries. I stand here in awe. I was born here. My parents were born here. My maternal grandmother was born here, and so was my great-grandmother. You, on the other hand, have chosen to leave your countries and come here, sometimes at the expense of leaving, leaving friends and family behind. And now you have chosen to become American. I realize that what I have taken for granted has been hard work for you. At a naturalization ceremony, a president once said, you can live in France, but you cannot become a Frenchman. You can live in Japan, but you cannot become Japanese. But anyone from any corner of the world can live in America and be an American. Hello, everybody, once again. My name is Valeria Paschal, and I'm the director of the Gateways program here at the Jewish Community Center of Greater Washington. Being a naturalized citizen myself, I'm honored to be a part of this wonderful ceremony. And I'm also proud that today you will become citizens of this wonderful country. Like all the immigrants that came before you, you and your loved ones will make this country great. Can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming who's brought stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave or the band of the free and the In 1969, almost 30 years ago, as a young man in Atlanta, and my mother is here uh, from Atlanta, living next door, I was a law clerk to a U.S. District Court judge. And I attended, as his law clerk, a naturalization ceremony in which the judge swore new immigrants in as a citizen. It was one of the most moving events I ever witnessed, and it remains indelibly with me, even though I've served three presidents, two in the White House, and as Tony mentioned, a series of senior international positions. I'm honored to be able to speak to you three decades later at your naturalization service and at the JCC of Greater Washington, a place so close to my heart and where I was the president. Uniquely among all nations around the world, the United States is a nation of immigrants. We come from the four corners of the globe. Immigrants have come to this country in waves. The Germans, the Irish, the Italians, the Jews, the Asians, and now the Hispanics and Africans to make the United States your home. This is a tribute to each of you, to your energy, to your determination to build a better life. But it's also a confirmation of the magnetic attraction of this flag and of the country for which it stands. Before you were called immigrants, you are not immigrants today. You are full American citizens as much so as those who can trace their families back hundreds of years. 
No one in this country has to check their own history, their country, their culture, their background, or their language to become full and equal citizens. You came to this wonderful country for the same reasons that so many others came. You now hold it in your hands to use the rights of citizenship, which are fully yours, and which are bestowed upon you this day. I urge you to exercise those rights to the fullest, to vote in every opportunity you have, to let your voice be heard on issues that affect you. We have a great debate going on in this country now about immigration, about how to treat illegals, Make your voice heard, however you feel on that debate. And also, build a strong family. Get engaged in your children's education and in their school. And then you will have fully exercised the rights bestowed upon you. I'm not exaggerating when I say that each and every one of you are an inspiration to those of us who were born as citizens and too often, as Tony said, took our citizenship for granted. You've earned the greatest title of all. It's better than my title as ambassador or secretary. And that title is Citizen of the United States of America. Congratulations and use your citizenship right. introduce Rita Crawley, Supervisory District Adjudications Officer for Naturalization, who is going to administer the oaths. Rita? Could I have all 79 candidates for citizenship please stand? There is no greater symbol to, of our country's values and traditions than the flag of the United States of America. Chosen by the Continental Congress in 1777, it continues to exemplify the profound commitment to freedom, equality, and opportunity made by our founding fathers. Would everyone please stand, face the flag, place your right hand. That's your congresswoman. <laughs> Carlos Osoa de Figueiredo. Hold it up. Tim Brito. Hold up your certificate. Ibrahim yep. Barry. <laughs> Is there anyone that we missed? Everybody okay, congratulations. <laughs>